Hi everyone, long time no see, right? I'm Nancy, owner and innkeeper of Old Square Inn in Mountjoy, Pennsylvania in beautiful Lancaster County. Today I'm going to show you how to make our newest award-winning dessert, apple tart bites. Now if you read my previous blog, you knew that we were going to be in a local contest um, as a recipe finalist. We were one of the top three winners, and even though we didn't get first place, although I think we should have gotten first place, we got some other neat prizes. I got a gift certificate to a grocery store, got a great gift certificate to a restaurant, my family and friends were there, and this is very cool. Our recipe is going to be published in Susquehanna Style Magazine. I'll let you know when that comes out. Yeah, and then you can try the other recipes too and tell me which one you think you sh should have won. Okay, anyway, to make these apple tart bites, what I love about this is that they're so easy. You're going to start with puff pastry sheets. Find this in the freezer. It comes in two sheets and thought at uh, room temperature for 40 minutes or overnight in your fridge tells you what to do on the box. And then you're just going to cut these into three strips right along the fold and then I cut each of the strips into four pieces. So if you do it this way, since there are two sheets, you can get 24 pastries or you can make them extra little tiny bites and cut those in half again. These are like really good for parties too, a real quick pickup dessert. So you could do it either way. So I have these and then I also have um, an apple that I've tossed with a little bit of brown sugar. It doesn't matter how much because it's all going to bake in there anyway. A little bit of melted butter, some walnuts, and of course my caramel sauce is on the, the stove getting ready for topping. To start these, I'm just going to take a little bit of melted butter, brush it on one of the pastries. Well, you can brush them on all the pastries while you're at it. And then each of the pastries is going to get, oh, three or four apple slices. On the tiny pastries, you can put maybe two apple slices. Doesn't take a lot. And then you arrange them kind of in an overlapping order. So, and when you cut up these apples, you even leave the skin on them. It's so easy. You could do this with peaches. You could do this with pears. Some people like to put cinnamon on this. I don't because I don't like cinnamon. It's pretty much like I don't like cilantro, unless maybe I'm eating a box of Red Hots or hot tamales or a Cinnabon. But other than that, I don't really care for cinnamon in my stuff, which you might have noticed. Okay, so I have that arranged. Now, it might take you a couple minutes to get this pastry together. And if the pastry would happen to warm up, while you're working on it, you just want to stick it back in the fridge for a little bit because you want this pretty cold when you put it in the oven. That's the thing that helps it rise because that the, the fat in the dough is surprised and whoop, it poofs up in the oven. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees. So you're just going to do this with all of your puff pastries. That'll go in the oven for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. When they come out, this is what they look like. Look how like nice and puffy those are. Don't those look delicious? And here are the tiny ones. So I've let these cool. I'm just going to take a little bit of my caramel sauce. And you saw the video on the caramel sauce already, probably. And if you didn't, go back and watch it. I've included the recipe again. I have, um, this is butter, brown sugar, and brandy. And I threw some cranberries in there because I think the cranberries taste so good on top of this with the sweet. And as this sauce sets, it's going to thicken up a little bit. Oh, that looks so good. And then you put a little bit of walnuts on top. If you don't like walnuts, use pecans. Leave them off completely. Or as I said, if you want to ruin it with cinnamon, go ahead and do that too. We are going to be um, December 2nd. Authentic Inns and B&Bs of Pennsylvania are having um, a tour of inns decorated for Christmas, and the the tickets are twenty dollars each. The and the it benefits um, Make a Wish Foundation, and each of the inns will be serving treats and handing out recipes. I think I'm going to serve these because they are so good. 
Mm, 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 mm. Delicious.